What's up, everybody? Keith Allen here. And I'm Felicia Marie. And we are your hosts of the Santa Fe Film Festival. Let's check out who we have on the red carpet today. Let's do it. All right, we are here with Raphael and Martin of The Tricky Part. Gentlemen, welcome to the Santa Fe Film Festival. Thank you. Great to be here. Absolutely. How does it feel to have your film selected as an official selection here at the Santa Fe Film Festival? It's, it's an honor. You know, it existed at a, as a play, or does exist as a play. And thanks to Raphael, who filmed it beautifully, it's, it's thrilling to have it in a film festival. It's also thrilling for the play to be performed without me needing to perform it. <laughs> because it's captured so well by Raphael, and it's a, it's a joy. To be. Excellent, and can you tell us, for those that haven't seen it yet, a little bit about the film? Yeah, and Raphael may want to echo in. It's a story, a very personal story, about growing up in Colorado as a Catholic kid, a very strict Catholic uh, context, and tumbling into sex at a very young age with an older man and a, that I met at a Catholic camp. And then, many, many years later, in my 40s, uh, tracking him down and sitting down with him, and trying to understand what happened that violation when I was 12 and to try to look at the complexity of that and the the boundless sort of dividends and uh, mysteries of having a wound like that when you're a kid we all have different ways that we were kind of fractured as young people the tricky part is a, a story about attempting to look at the complexities of that Absolutely. That's incredible. What does it mean to you to shed light on an issue that has been swept under the rug for so long? What is it to be such a innovator in that field? What, is, what does that mean to you? Well, a lot of things. I mean, I feel like in many, many ways the film, the, the story came through me. I mean, I, it's, I, I sat down and wrote it eventually. It took me eight years to write the, the story. Uh, and it exists as a book and, and then a play, and a play and now a film. But it meant, it, it, there's a way of feeling that it is of service in some way to try to tell the truth, you know, and then it ultimately isn't about me, that it's about the questions that we all have about forgiveness, about it, it, going through periods where you feel suicidal or you're damaged or ruined. But what would it be that if the very thing you think ruined you is the thing that ultimately, if you can... If you can make it through and meet enough teachers and spiritual guides in your community, what would it mean if that deepest ruination is also becomes sort of your deepest portal to, to God, the universe, to the mystery of being in human form, in existence? Not, you know, just, I mean, that's a lot of highfalutin stuff to say, but it, so I own the story less. It's more about the questions at the center, human questions. It was a question about my life, but it's also simply deeply, I think, when any art, when you get down to the deepest part of it, when it's deeply personal, it then, it cracks open to where it's endlessly universal. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful. Rafael, what does it mean to you to be a part of such an emotional project? Well, l let me just say, um, so you know, Marty did this play uh, off-Broadway, won the Obie Award for it, which is essentially the off-Broadway Tony, was nominated for sev several Drama Desk Awards, won awards um, as well, other places. It was developed at the Sundance uh, Theatre Institute. It has a, a very uh, sort of uh, august and uh, a remarkable sort of pedigree of, of, of people who've really been bowled over by uh, what Marty did, what he's revealed, what his performance is, his writing is astonishing. I was invited, Anthony Edwards, who was is being honored here today um, for his life's work, is the producer. He's on set uh, this week, so he was unable to be here, so he's sort of standing here, uh, <laughs> sort of uh, in absentia. But um, uh, uh, Anthony basically came to me and said, look, this is a wonderful play. Uh, Anthony has some personal experience in this area as well in terms of really uh, really being able to sort of talk, begin to talk about male abuse and really be able to kind of give it um, a voice uh, uh, f because there's so much shame and complexity involved in it. Marty uh, opens it up, as he said, like an egg, and it, it just, it, it's, a, it's a revelation and so uh, beautifully told and so beautifully uh, um, and so personally expressed. Tony uh, basically came to me and said, listen, uh, there's this friend of mine who's doing this amazing play and, you know, and so we made this movie and, and I, uh, at least initially, didn't, didn't know how, you know, if it would all come together, plays on film can be tricky, but uh, uh, 
Marty's performance really is so enduring and so powerful and, and just explodes through the screen. We are so proud to be here at, the, at this festival. It's, uh, you know, festivals are so important for independent filmmakers. It's a way where we can meet audience, where we can meet our other filmmakers, where we can connect and find ways to distribution and also, you know, um, uh, kind of bubble up in a crowd, you know. So we're so grateful that we're here. Stephanie Pichet, who basically runs the festival, is an amazing uh, woman who's done so well. And, and JD Vichay also, uh, just uh, so much energy, so much uh, sort of uh, spirit, and uh, we're thrilled to be here. That's excellent. On behalf of the Santa Fe Film Festival, I just want to thank you both for using your platform and your skills and your ability to be such trailblazers and innovators and, uh, and, and bring this story to life. So thank you both so much. Thank and, you. And, and enjoy the rest of your time. It means a lot. Thank you very much, yeah, really. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.